people do work when they have a basic income. They just make better choices for themselves and their families. As the head of Durham's largest food bank, Ben Earl has seen firsthand how the pandemic has highlighted growing poverty and financial instability in the region. Those problems have all been around for a long time. And the pandemic really just made it very clear and showed those gaps really clearly to many, many more Canadians. Earl says while food bank use in Durham increased when the virus first emerged, it dropped when the government came out with the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit. It's part of what led him to call on all levels of government to seriously consider implementing a basic income model. There is this pattern um, for individual families where health and well-being improves ability to work improves too. A recent report by the Basic Income Canada Network details how Canada could potentially fund $22,000 annually for adults. Advocates add several studies have been undertaken around the world, including in Canada, the U.S. and India, that have shown positive results. Alec King with CMHA Durham says guaranteed income could also help those suffering with mental health and addictions. I mean, people with legitimate mental health issues are right now are struggling to get through with what's on um, ODSP. With a universal basic income, we would see everyone being able to survive and improve themselves and do things the best possible way. Despite this, critics argue basic income will make people unmotivated to stay employed and could fuel further substance addictions. Oshawa Mayor Dan Carter calls these misconceptions and says he's been fighting them for the last four years while trying to have basic income implemented at a regional level. I believe in my heart of hearts that the guaranteed income uh, we would have a higher rate of success than we would have uh, than a, a success of failure. That's what I'm focusing on. Why not give it a shot? 